Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Asa and I have another 3D printing project for you. Today I'm going to go over six functional prints. I've designed all of these and I've uploaded all of the original CAD files to Printable. So if you want to modify these or tinker with the designs to make them your own, all the CAD files are online. For the most part, I used Fusion 360, but for two of the designs, I did it both in Fusion 360 and in OpenSCAD. If you're interested in this type of thing, please subscribe to my channel. I've got another video where I go over five other functional prints. I've also got longer form videos with 3D printing projects. In one, I go over the design and build of this Lazy Susan, which I made with my 3D printer and some parts off Amazon. Like I always say, why buy it for $20 when I can design and make it for 60 myself? All right, let's get to the functional prints. The first thing I did was design this koozie. It's actually insulated. I've put a piece of wool inside here. The process is easy. I just pause the print near the end and shove in a piece of wool felt for the insulation. You can do this automatically. I use Prusa Slicer and I just manually add a pause near the end of the print. Then I resume the print and you get a koozie. It actually does a pretty decent job of keeping soda cool longer, though this won't compete with the fancy insulated flasks you could buy. If you plan to make your own, which I hope you do, and use it outside, I recommend using a material like PETG or something that's a little more temperature resistant. I imagine PLA would warp if it's left outside in the hot sun. I uploaded designs for a hollow one that you can add insulation to or a solid one that'll just be all plastic. The next thing I designed both in OpenSCAD and in Fusion 360 are these little nut drivers. I already have a set of metric and standard nut drivers, but I always found myself needing the one that I didn't have. All of the nut driver sets that I could find skipped a lot of common sizes, so I decided instead to design my own driver. Then I got a cheap socket set off Facebook Marketplace. I think this was like 20 bucks. And it's decent quality, it's a Stanley set, but I haven't figured out how to drink from these yet. I printed about two dozen of these handles out of PETG, which is enough for all of the sizes of metric and standard sockets that I want to use. And then I got these little quarter inch driver adapters. All told, this was much better than the cheapest nut driver I could find on Amazon or AliExpress. Instead of two or three bucks per nut driver, I think this comes out to around a dollar. It's pretty easy to press the adapter into the handle, and now I have all of the nut driver sizes I could want. Well, the shock test failed, so I'm gonna design a new bracket later. The next one is really straightforward. Everybody should have a sharps container. And if you don't already have one, you probably shouldn't wait to print one. Go cut a slit in a yogurt container or something and use that. So the point is, dispose of your sharps safely. You don't wanna hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. This one is pretty simple. It's print in place with no supports needed, and I did a simple color change to add the text. If you don't already know how to prompt your slicer to do a simple color change, I'll link a video description where I give a quick tutorial. It's really straightforward and you don't need a multi-material unit or an AMS or anything like that. Next is fun and practical. You can make replacement Schrader valve caps for your bike or your car tires. It's also pretty easy to add objects on top of these if you want customized little valve covers. I'm pretty talented at losing these, so now I'll always have a supply. Next are simple bag tags that I use on my bags when I travel. These are really simple to make. I printed them out of PETG so they're a little more temperature resistant in case my carry-on is in the trunk of a hot car or stuck on the tarmac on an airplane. I print them in two halves to make it really easy and just glue them together with a little CA glue. And like the Sharps container, I just do a simple color change to add the text. 
like the bit driver handles, I made models for these both in Fusion 360 and in OpenSCAD. So check that out if you're interested in OpenSCAD. Next is another easy one. I made designs for funnels. These I use for normal household fluids or if I need to pour things like desiccant beads. One thing though, I don't use these for gasoline. I still pay a big funnel threes of dollars per year for a conventionally manufactured funnel when I need to use gasoline in my outdoor lawn equipment. If anyone happens to know of a gasoline safe filament, let me know in the comments, though I'll still probably use the one I bought from the home store. The last functional print I'll share is more of a category. I've designed a bunch of different cable management clips. I made large clips and slots for things like power cables or bundles of cables. and some smaller zip tie anchors and little arches that are designed to be used with nails. While most of these can be attached with screws or nails, I also tend to use double stick adhesive foam. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you want more content on making, building, and crafting. I've got a Prusa XL coming in a couple of months, I'll make a video on that, and I have another functional prints video planned coming out in a couple of months. So thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.